Hey guys, okay, it's another deconstructed live looping video. So this time it's my song One Night Wonder. Stick around. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. So diving right in, at my feet, I have all of my tracks still queued up. Here we go. Now you'll hear a little chaos there and that's because track three I actually deleted during the song. So for the purpose of this deconstruction, I re-recorded my piece on track number three and uh, just for the purpose of showing you guys exactly what's going on in this track. So if you haven't already checked it out, check it out. It's already up on my YouTube channel. It's called One Night Wonder. It's my new single out. I really hope you like it too. It's available everywhere. But let's dive straight in. So I'm gonna show you what's on each track and then I'll show you the process of each track. So track number one, I've got some beatbox and my little riff. All right, so I started the song with beatbox. Um, I actually started the song with the line, let it be another one, not wonder, and then went straight into recording the beatbox component of track one. And then after that, I went over to kind of a, a snare hit on track number four. So in this particular song, I like to set up the percussion elements first, which allows me then to be able to do this little kind of signature riff that I have. Right, so I set up the percussion elements, the beatbox parts, and then I recorded the, uh, that little riff. So that's on track number one. Now I went over to track number four. Uh, as I said, I recorded the kind of the, hit, the hits and the and the and the claps, then straight to track number three to lay down kind of a tempo. Now in the back of track number three, uh, I'll get on to recording the rest of this later. But the uh, track number three down here, you can hear in the background kind of a kind of a shaker sort of thing. So I knew that later in the track, I would only be isolating track number three and layering some vocals over it. So let me just play you what's on track number three and in the background, you will hear what I did early in the song to set up to then record later in the song. All right, so uh, that background little shaker part was done earlier in the song. Then I went over to track number two and I recorded all of my let it be another one not wonder. So I layered three or four harmonies on top of that. I think it was four. Less harmonies and more background vocals. I did um, the same melody and then I just did an octave lower. So I did two regular melodies and then two octave lower melodies. And, uh, and kind of a, while I was recording that, I like to just uh, hit my acoustic kind of slap to kind of keep me in time. And if I ever isolate that, then I always have like a perfect metronome in the background. It also adds to the, the percussion element of the song. So, right, then I went over to, <laughs> I feel like I'm jumping all over the place in this song, but then I went over to track number four over here and, uh, and laid down sort of my uh, percussion element. So my sort of drums part of it. So uh, I, I hit the guitar right here, my beautiful uh, EM6 mate and guitar has a beautiful kick drum sound. So I smacked that and then I hit my little kind of wood block tone and that in combination with the <coughs> kind of occasional snare hit, which I previously set up um, at the start of the song in track four, that created my drum element. And then on top of that, I added my bass line which is that. So let me hear that right now. So, okay, in the verses, I kind of drop everything straight back out into uh, just track number four. So that's for the, for the standard verses. So, uh, I just spilled my drink along my shoes. No big deal, standing by a pool. Then I bring in track number three, which at the time, <laughs> this is where it's confusing is, at the time, all it had is a <laughs> So for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna do that in time with track number four, because this was before I layered vocals on track number three. So halfway through the verse, this bit came in. Hi. 
Now, I like that to kind of give it an extra, uh, like you're opening the hi-hats or you're just doing something else, maybe a tambourine movement or something. Those things take the verse and just pop it just that little bit. So I like to do that right before the pre-chorus. And then uh, <laughs> I realised this is... I keep jumping around, but that's actually what I did with this song. I keep jumping around with all these tracks, but I'm trying to give you the deconstruct, the full deconstructed version of exactly what I did for this song. So I'm sorry if it's confusing, but hopefully you're following along. So in the pre-chorus, that's when I drop everything out. I had everything go and I drop it all out just to... Not gonna let it get in the way of a good time. And I kind of, in the recording... I kind of have more of a strumming thing, but live, I like to just sort of do a... Kind of a finger-picking sort of style thing. So that's the pre-chorus. Not gonna let it get on the way of a good time. Not gonna let it kill my vibe. Got everything I need by my side. I love that hard stop and no music there. That kind of an air. By my side. Two, three, four. Let it be in, you know, into the chorus. So now when I kick into the chorus, you might see my foot very quickly hit the start all uh, and, then, and then stop track number two. Now track number two is where I had... Which is what I want for the tag part of the chorus. So I actually don't want that vocal in the chorus while I'm singing the first part of it. Now... The other confusing factor, as always in this particular song, is try to remember I haven't yet recorded the uh, uh, ain't no reason, the, the part that I have now recorded on track number three. At that time, I hadn't recorded it. So when I hit start all, stop all now, I'm actually going to stop track two and three and that's what you will hear uh, that I'm playing along in the chorus. So, got everything I need by my side. Let her be another one night wonder None of us are gonna get any younger Some of the best days go down in the summer So the cool thing about choruses and, uh, and being a live looping artist is never discount the fact that you're still a human being and can play along to your loop. So there might be some part like this part that I'm playing um, along to my chorus. Or I might be doing... Uh, which isn't anywhere in my loop. So I'm adding that uh, in the moment live alongside it. So. Let it be another one that wonder. None of us are gonna get any younger. Some of the best days go down in the summer. So let it be another one that wonder. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Then I add in my track number two. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Now I'm gonna drop everything out for the second verse. That ping pong table in the room. I was spinning serves and couldn't lose, etc. So then we get up to the second chorus, same deal again. So let it be another one night wonder. None of us are gonna get any younger. Some of the best days go down in the summer, etc. Now, leading up to the bridge, right at the end of that second chorus, when I'm. Now you'll see I come over here, unmute my loop mic because right on the first beat I want to start recording my Ain't no reason why this can't be the best night and then I keep going into Ain't no second harmony, third harmony, fourth harmony and I layer those up to end up sounding like this. Now this is... The same as what I had in the song. It's 99.9% .9 the same, but you might notice that it does sound a little different and that is because after I record it and play that part, you might have noticed I actually delete that part because when I go back into the chorus, I don't want any of that stuff in. As you can hear with all of it in... It's a little too chaotic. There's too many background harmonies and stuff going on there. So I just want this to be just in the bridge section. And so afterwards, you'll see when I go into the downbeat chorus, let it be another one that wonder. I'm going to do this and actually delete this part like what I did in the song. So 
So let it be another one night wonder None of us are gonna get any younger Some of the best days go down in the summer See now track number three is gone So let it be another one night wonder And I go back into the chorus and dip out track number two again So let it be another one night wonder None of us are gonna get any younger Some of the best days go down in the summer Now I'm gonna bring track number two in So let it be another one night wonder And I'm playing along I'm playing along to br build that, right, so Let it be another one night wonder Now a couple of times through the song, this is the last thing that you need to see Is uh, I've got my expression pedal over here which I'm able to it's, it's the volume for those of you who don't know The volume attached to my entire loop, so as you can see, nothing, but the loop still continues to carry on. So through the actual original song, the studio version, you might notice that there's a few bits that go dip out and back in again with the beat. So this enables me to do that in that song. So let it be another one night wonder. None of us are gonna get any younger. Some of the best days go down in the summer. So let it be another one night wonder. Do -do 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 -do. Be another one night wonder. Do -do 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 -do. Let it be another one night wonder. There you have it, the deconstructed version of my song, One Night Wonder. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. And if you haven't saved it on your Spotify, Amazon, Deezer, whatever playlist you got, please check it out. My new song, One Night Wonder, is out right now. And if you have any questions or want to see more of this stuff, my plan is to every single time I do a video now, a live looping video, I'm going to do a deconstructed version of this. So please let me know if this is helping uh, you or even if you're just interested in checking it out. Very much love. Thank you so much. Uh, look forward to seeing your looping stuff. And um, good work, everybody. Carry on. Peace out.